COVID-19 overwhelmed our hospital just like every other hospital in the nation. When patients came to our emergency room, we immediately noticed that one of the molecules, ferritin, which ordinarily is a marker for inflammation in the body, but also is a way that the body carries iron, not only in the bloodstream, but to cells, that marker ferritin was elevated. So we very early on focused on the fact that perhaps that would be a marker that told us how sick our patients were and potential therapies we could use to try and treat that uh, COVID pneumonia. We set up these databases to be able to collect patient information, not only from the patients themselves, but from their clinical responses to therapy and also their lab test results. We formulated this large database, and from that database, we were able to ask it questions. Could methylprednisolone help in the recovery of patients? And if it did help, which patients should we be looking at? In this study, we categorized patients according to their baseline ferritin in three categories, in low, medium, and high levels of ferritin at baseline. And we looked at the response within those tertiles of ferritin between those who received methylprednisolone and those who did not after adjusting for risk factors that we know are associated with outcomes in patients with COVID-19. Patients who were admitted with high levels of ferritin did very good with uh, the administration of methylprednisolone versus those who, who didn't get uh, this uh, steroid, while the benefit was not seen in patients with lower levels of ferritin at baseline. As cardiologists, we have experience with uh, inflammation and cardiovascular disease and heart failure, and we know that what we call low-level inflammation is associated with outcomes in patients with heart disease, and we know that certain therapies work better based on the level of inflammation in these patients. This was a collaboration between uh, the uh, Division of Cardiology, the Division of Infectious Diseases at Stony Brook, and the Department of Medicine at Stony Brook because our residents were very pivotal in this effort, both in the clinical uh, management of patients with COVID-19 and collection of important data. We were able to find that in patients who showed up in the emergency room, a simple blood test, serum ferritin, was able to predict which patients would go on to respond to steroid therapy and have a reduced risk of dying or of needing to be intubated. Instead of giving steroids to everyone, we may select patients that will actually benefit and avoid the side effects for patients that would not benefit from methylprednisolone. This entire collaboration between the Division of Cardiology, the Division of Infectious Diseases, and the Department of Medicine uh, became possible despite the entire pressure from the pandemic, and it happened while our residents were working hard taking care of our patients. And we're really proud of the study, and we believe that this may be the basis for future investigations that actually improve care for patients with COVID-19.